It's common wisdom in marketing that um, we need to convey a message seven times for it to really land with the customer. I thought I'd apply the same logic to learning from mistakes and I'm going to try and convey this message seven different ways so that the message is really going to land with you. So here goes. Right, number one. This is what we think behavior change looks like. Okay, it's a nice straight line. In fact, what it actually looks like is this, okay? In other words, there are lapses, okay? Um, and actually, um, if there aren't lapses, then we're not progressing. So if there aren't lapses, then what you're doing is changing what you call it, but keeping your behavior the same. So lapses are actually a sign of progress. And as you will see, there is more than one. We can also refer to these lapses as mistakes. That's number one. Number two. The brain operates on this kind of, if it's not broken, I won't fix it principle, because basically it takes effort to change the way that we think. Um, so we need to be sufficiently motivated to do that. And that means we tend to do our best learning when we get a negative outcome. In other words, we learn from mistakes. So getting things wrong is not a sign that we're not learning. In fact, it's probably the precursor to learning. Number three. Very often I hear people say things like, it's okay to make a mistake as long as you learn from it and don't do it again. That's the equivalent of saying, just be better next time. In other words, we haven't really sat down to think, well, what actually caused the mistake and what are the corrective actions? So really the important thing is what we do with that mistake and we need to change how we respond to those mistakes. And remember that because we learn through repetition, we might need to correct that mistake more than once. Okay, number four. You can't identify those corrective actions if you first don't take ownership of that mistake. And there are lots of reasons why we won't kind of own up to a mistake. One is, is that we're programmed to feel shame, no matter how much people tell us it's okay. And also we might be afraid of the repercussions. But think about this, what would you rather? Um, someone who makes a mistake more than once or someone who tries to correct it more than once? Actually, the second one is going to cause people to repeat mistakes much more often. So it's so important that we are able to talk about our mistakes and we're able to talk about them more than once. Okay, number five. If we are afraid of making mistakes, and if we're afraid of making mistakes more than once, paradoxically, we are more likely to make them more than once, not just because of the previous reason, but also because we tend to invest um, a lot of um, you know, stress and pressure on ourselves. We attach a lot of meaning to that. And actually, weirdly, it kind of draws us towards it like a moth to a flame. So paradoxically, the best way to not repeat a mistake is to not be afraid of repeating that mistake. Okay, number six. No matter how motivated we are to incorporate our learning, it does take time for a learned lesson to become a learned behavior and even longer still for it to come become an automatic behavior. And number seven, if we make a mistake more than once, it is not necessarily a sign that we're not learning. In fact, it might be a sign that we're still learning. And if you think about it, that takes a lot of courage to admit that. So if someone in your team admits to making a mistake more than once, recognize that. And most importantly, don't be a dick about it. I hope that's helpful. If you need a reminder of this, come back and check this video out if you want me to come and talk to your team about what learning really looks like and why we might make a mistake more than once. I'd be delighted to come and talk to you. Take care.